All right, guys, welcome back to another one. Um, as you can see, I'm finally getting a chance to work on Project Miata once again. Uh, and I'm doing probably what just about every other Miata owner will need to do um, unless they already have a hard top and that's replace or fix their soft top. So my, my attempt one is gonna be do it without removing the entire frame. So when I originally looked it up, um, I, you know, I did my, my, YouTube, my YouTube certification, which is, I'm sure, one of the reasons why you're watching this video. And um, I was looking and most everybody said, oh, I'm going to spend a couple extra hours. I'm going to remove the entire frame and everything else, which I did that on my S2000 and I hated it. So my attempt is going to be keeping the frame and everything else in the car, not removing it until I have to. If I get to the point where I have to remove it, it is what it is. Um, but the attempt is going to leave the frame in the car, leave it installed, uninstall, pull out the, the soft top, put the new soft top in, um, make it all weather seal tight and everything else, and have a, have a brand new soft top that if I, I wanna leave the car cover off the car or if I'm out somewhere and it's gonna rain, I can have the top up and I won't get water in the car. So you guys, let me know what you think. Um, just, just for the information, I'll even throw the link in down below. It's, it's, I'm definitely not getting paid for it or anything else. I'm attempting to do this on a budget. Um, the the long-term goal, of course, would be to get a hard top, either a carbon fiber or, you know, maybe, maybe even a, you know, a, a, shoot, I couldn't even think of what I wanted to say. You know, uh, the non-carbon fiber, <laughs> to get a carbon fiber one, um, uh, or an OEM one, uh, you know, I, I mean, we all know the OEM ones fit tight as could be, but the OEM one would be a little heavier than a carbon fiber one, um, or a fiberglass one, which fiberglass was the word I was looking for a minute ago that you guys all dropped comments in and was like, how could you not think of fiberglass? But anyways, uh, carbon fiber, fiberglass, or OEM. Uh, they all kind of have their advantages, disadvantages, everything from fitment to weight to, you know, everything else. So, you know, the, the way the rear window mounts, all of that. Um, but anyways, this is an attempt to do it on a budget, uh, literally for a couple hundred bucks. I, and if I can get a soft top in the car for a couple hundred bucks that's weather sealed, that I can drive for the couple days it's only supposed to rain in socal even though we're in a couple weeks or a month at this point whatever um you can tell i i'm i've already acclimated to uh to socal weather and i get upset when when it rains uh, <laughs> but anyways we're gonna keep going uh i'm gonna show you guys the removal process and then of course the installation and the hope is that i can do it all and still keep the frame on the car so you guys let me know what you think drop those comments below uh, as always, I, and I know you will drop those comments where you're like, why didn't you do it this way? Or, oh, you should have did it this way. It was easier. I don't take offense to them. I actually appreciate them because anyone else that watches this and then reads down through the comments, um, it, it's valuable and you'll see, I'll, I'll even, I'll even respond to your comment. Um, if you're like, oh, Hey, next time you should try removing this or Hey, next time you know, this. And at the end, I'll definitely let you guys know whether or not I felt as though leaving the top on from the other ones I've watched and everything else where they remove the, the actual frame and everything else, if leaving the frame on did seem easier. So we'll get at it. Uh, we'll do a little high speed cut, all that kind of stuff, because you guys don't want to watch full timing. Although when I come back after we've We've taken the the soft top out. I'll let you know what the guy. I'll, I'll let you guys know what a what the actual time was, and I will do my best not to cut and just go. Hey, look, it's off. Oh, hey, look, it's on. Hey, that was the end of doing a soft top because I I think I watched three three videos when I was when I was prepping to do this, and one of them was really great. Showed all the disassembly and everything else got to the part of reassembly and they show, you know, them, them flopping the, the soft top on the frame. And then the cutscene was like, oh, cool. So we got it on. Everything was great. It was just a reverse order. And for some reason, um, I, I, I just feel as though it didn't go as smooth as, as they did show in the video. But uh, that's enough rambling. Let's get to it. I'm going to show you removal process first. I'll come back and talk to you guys. And uh, 
then we'll, we'll attempt to throw this soft top on. All right, you guys let me know what you think and let's get at it, thanks. Like a socket, baby. Big gonna say what they said, but so I skip straight ahead to the bread, but top dog, I'm cool on the chick check. With the kid, no, I got to get paid. Big gonna say what they said, but so I skip straight ahead to the bread, but top dog, I'm cool on the chick check. With the kid, no, I got to get paid. Tell me, can you slide for a real one? Slide for me, slide for me. Can you slide for a real one? Can you slide for me, slide for me. Can you slide for real one? 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 Can you slide for real one?
make him nervous Maybe cause I'm real on the surface Maybe cause I'm tearing down where the turf is Don't get lost in those facades on the guys You know ain't nobody perfect I just put the work in, I know what my worth is I'm living lavish, I'm flossing, brossing and bagging up cash off the passion Out here with my niggas, AB to the casket, we reckless, stay in your lane I'm on gas till somebody cut the brakes Cutting off these haters in the heads of the snakes You're spinning the plan, but you catching on late And she just sent the emoji, so she wetter than a lake So I better not all right guys so let's take a let's take a quick look at the material and i'm gonna get it laid out and everything else and see what we can do um the material itself doesn't feel bad kind of kind of feels almost like a i don't know like a thick tent material uh i did get the one with the glass rear so we're gonna get it Give me a minute, I'm gonna get it laid out and everything else, and let me zoom out a little bit for you guys. I'm gonna get it laid out, kinda initially, kinda put in place, I guess. I'll hook the front and everything else so I can get it spread out, and I'll show you guys what it looks like, and then we'll start going through and see if we can, uh, see if we can get this thing hooked up without having to pull the frame out. Yeah, yeah, wait. Like I ain't in a teed up, I turn them to vegan I'm really a creature, she sent me the beacon I beat it and flee it, they tell like these niggas Won't beat me, they can't I'm somewhat tucked off, I'm late in the shade And I'm counting mine, still ain't made it I'm jaded, my latest, my greatest I ain't ever caving, they see me, I'm him I'm a gym and the soil is by the time I've been after mine, I'm one with the culture They more like a gimmick, I'm pushing the needle I'm leaving the key in, it's running on meter I want me a boy and I need him to see me Yeah, I know it's my season My family the reason, I be who I'm being Solid Lately I'm pushing the needle for it To the people that knew me in trader size I'm up now, don't hit me to make it right I'm out of dole, I've been taking mines Get scared of the heights that I'm reaching for Don't even know what you're reaching towards Don't even know what you're reaching for I really went from wearing rags on me To his racks on me, first class They ain't got a pat on me, let the chain dangle Bitch, I'm ready in the mainframe Turn my pain into paint on the canvas I've been a head case, been frank on the right I get Ben Franklin, burnt two ends of the candle Want be the first one get rich in my family They don't understand me, I used to be nice guy Till the world told me cold, now my guard up on five Don't trust nobody, now she never did want me She talking real naughty, now I ain't sorry Been slept on they groggy, I'm really bout it I'm off the cloud in it, I'm real rowdy I'm going off, had no chances I do not answer to anybody Amped up, put my stamp on the canvas, I'm ramped up Me, my daughter, just pretend that my do this for life They just post for the camera, they scrambling They not me, they rambling, I want me a mansion I know it's my season, I'm going to the stanza I'm somewhat tucked off, I'm late in the shade and I'm counting mine, still ain't made it, I'm jaded, my latest, my greatest I'm solid, lately I'm pushing the needle for it To the people that knew me in trader size I'm up now, don't hit me to make it right I'm out of dole, I've been taking mines Get scared of the heights that I'm reaching for Don't even know what you're reaching towards Don't even know what you're reaching for They loud in their feelings, they barking these riddles Already told you, won't find no one realer I go from me cool to the top of your list Turn this to a crib and a whip with a tent on it Phone been on silent, I been on my shit Whole globe on the fritz, I ball up my fist Part of my glitz, stick a part of me sick With it like it's 06, going dumb in the sticks On a bitch real quick, fresh when I dress Take a look at my stitch, think I lost my sense Whip to the neck, I been acting real different Know I'm at your neck, I won't loosen my grip Out in that stress, take a toll on my I been on deck, let me save my peace, let me talk my Look, I'm so red that the flare make you squint I've been on edge, I've been living too quick I can't get to sleep No, and it's all in my reach No, I've been living too fast Look in my eyes and don't blink Promise I ain't ever trade a size Know that I'm not, I don't live right I see this that we made it through Pray that you find what you're looking for
All right guys, so it's installed. <laughs> um, it Some parts didn't go as bad as I thought they would. Other parts went like way, way harder than they should have been. Um, the I guess the big question is whether or not I should have pulled it out or not. Um, you know, everything else, uh, disassembly was, was easy. Um, reassembly was actually fairly easy all up until I got to this section right through here. This section sucked. Um, just, just plain and simply. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. It took me a little bit of time to figure it out and like try and adjust and you know, okay, do I have the top up? How far do I have the top up? How far do I have it closed? And I found that, you know, about three quarters of the way up, that it gave me a little slack but really not a lot because it wants to go straight and it's a curved section so uh one it was it was getting it over the studs but then getting the the metal i think it's called like the the rain rail or you know uh, drip rail or whatever they call that the the rain the gutter rail little thingy there um getting that up in place holding it in place and then like getting it to kind of like it it'll go up a little bit but to like really drop into the section like right under this takes a little extra so it, it took me i mean I, you guys could see i have myself like wedged inside of it um now that being the hardest part you don't save yourself that taking the whole assembly out so it's not like when you put it back in, this part's already done. This part's the last part, you know, first part, last part that you have to do anyways, because once you get the whole assembly back in, you still have to mount all of this that goes around here. So uh, I, I, doing it with the frame on, I, I really don't think it would be a problem. Um, I'm kind of surprised that there were so many, you know, other videos I saw where they were like, oh, you have to pull the frame or not have to, but you know, oh, it's so much easier. Uh, there really wasn't anything else complicated by not pulling the frame. So uh, I would say if I was going to do it again, no reason to pull the frame. I, I, I really wouldn't. Um, and then for a second comment, I'd probably never do it again. <laughs> um, after having a hard top on my S2K and removing the soft top, um, I, I never wanted to go back to the soft top. That's just me. Sorry. Uh, and the whole convertible thing and using the convertible and everything else, even in Southern California that we have, well, we're supposed to have sun all year, um, you know, for the most part. I, I, I prefer a, a hard top car. I prefer the, the, the top up. Um, but again, that's just me. Uh, so if it, was, if it was something where, you know, you're going to use the soft top all the time, whatever, uh, I, I don't see any reason not doing it with the frame up. Uh, you guys let me know what you think about that. Um, I, I'll, I'll show you real quick. Like you can see it's, it's super tight. Like I, it's actually too tight right at the moment. Um, when I went to try and do the front latches, it did not want to latch for anything. I had to force it and like pull it down and like really, really like get it. So I, I need to get it put out in the sun for a little bit, uh, a couple days or whatever, let it kind of bake and heat up and then see if that helps stretch it just a little bit and we'll see how the material goes. Otherwise, um, yeah, I'm never going to drop the top. We'll, uh, we'll check in. I mean, you guys know I've got, I've got plenty of project to go on this car, plenty of other things to do. So we'll check in uh, as things are going along, as I start driving along and everything else. And I'll let you know how this top's holding up. Uh, how it looks in a, a week from now, a month from now, you know, months from now. And we'll see if it holds up. And I mean, the way it sits right now, the way it fits and everything else, I, I, I'm completely happy with it. So um, I'm extremely surprised for like a $200, which is definitely a budget soft top, um, that it actually fits so well and everything lined up and... Like I wasn't having to modify and make new holes and do a whole bunch of other stuff that, that usually you end up having to do when, when you get something on the, the lower end of a budget. So uh, I, I, overall, I'm really happy with it. We'll see how it, we'll see how it pro, 
performs lasts, uh, however you want to put that. So um, I'm going to button up the last couple things here. Uh, I tried not to skip uh, and I'll, uh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll go through and I'll show you a couple, a couple little like, uh, you know, the finicky items, but I tried to move the camera around and show you guys for the most part. You guys, if you're new to my channel, um, I, I do my best to answer comments, questions and everything else. So if it's anything I can try and help you out with, go ahead and drop the comment. Uh, if it's something that's going to be a long conversation or whatever, I'll let you guys, I'll let you know, uh, just DM me on IG and, and, and ask me. So, uh, whether or not it's this, whether or not it's another project car, uh, Japan, SoCal, how I find all the meets, all those kind of questions. I, I try and answer them for you guys. And I really do try and read through all the comments and anything I can help you guys out with. I, I, I really try to. So if you guys have any other questions, if there were certain details I missed or something as I was kind of going along, uh, like I said, I tried to move the camera around for you guys so you could see things. But, you know, the Miata is about this big and the space to put the camera and everything else isn't, isn't always, you know, uh, the best. So if I missed anything, go ahead and ask me. I, I'll do my best to give it, you know, give you an answer or whatever else. And um, you guys, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you think of Project Miata. And uh, I'm going to get out of here for now. I'm going to head over to the next one and I'll see you guys there. Thanks for hanging out to the end.